a very warm welcome on this youtube channel of analyst ias so our today's topic for bridge series is the environment and ecology questions which came in the year 2017 so total number of questions we have are 12 let's start question 1 consider the following statements in respect to the trade relation analysis of fauna and flora in commerce one traffic is a bureau under united nation environment program second the mission of traffic is to ensure that trade in the wild animals is not threatened to the conservation of nature which of the given statements is are correct pause the video try to answer now let's see the answer your correct answer is b one is incorrect because traffic is a joint program of the world wildlife fund and international union of conservation of nature and second statement is correct so your answer is b question second in the context of solving pollution problems which is are the advantage or advantages of the bio remediation techniques it is a technique of cleaning up pollution by enhancing the same biodegradation process that occurs in the nature any containment with heavy metals such as cadmium and lead can be readily and completely treated by a bio remediation using the microorganisms third genetic engineering can be used to create microorganisms specifically designed for bio remediation select the correct answer using the codes given below pause the video try to answer now let's see the answer so your correct answer is c which is one and three both why is it so bio remediation is the technique in which microorganisms are used to treat pollutants in a site in which the same process of bio degeneration that occurs naturally simply enhanced this is what bio remediation is they use microorganisms to help now statement 1 and 3 both are correct second is incorrect because heavy metals like cadmium and lead are not easily absorbed by organisms therefore your answer is c due to some reasons if there is a huge fall in the population of a species of butterflies what could be its likely consequence or consequences pollination of some plants could be adversely affected there could be a drastic increase in the fungal infection in some cultivated plants it could lead to fall in the population of some species of wasps spiders and birds select the correct answer using the codes given below pause the video try to think about it now let's discuss the answer so your correct answer to this is c which is 1 and 3 both it is correct since the butterflies are important for pollination in the nature third is correct because butterflies are a part of the food chain which are predated upon by wasps spiders and birds they all feed on butterflies so there are chances skin ke number bhi kam ho jaye second is incorrect because there is no known correlation between butterflies and the fungal infection there is no known relation correct answer is c is it possible to produce alga based biofuels but what is are the likely limitations of the developing countries in promoting this industry production of alga based biofuels is possible in seas only and not on continents setting up the and engineering the alga based biofuel production requires high level of expertise technology until the construction is completed economically viable production necessities the setting up of the large scale facilities which may raise ecological and social concerns select the correct answer using the codes given below pause the video try to think about it now let's discuss the answer so your correct answer to this is b which is 2 and 3 both why is it so statement first is correct alga farming is possible in the land unsuitable for growing plants for agriculture this is correct and second is also correct b one is incorrect sorry your one is incorrect production of algae is possible in seas only not on continents this is an incorrect statement and other two are correct your answer is b question 5 in the context of mitigating the impending global warming due to the anthropogenic emissions of the carbon dioxide which of the following can be the potential sites for carbon sequestration abandoned and uneconomic coal seams depleted oil and gas reservoirs subterranean deep saline formalities select the correct answer using the codes given below pause the video try to answer now let's see the answer so your correct answer to this is d which is 1 2 3 all explanation is capturing carbon dioxide from the major stationary sources and its storage into deep geological formations it is considered as a potential option for combating the global warming 
and all the three given sites are potential carbon dioxide storage options. Carbon sequestration is a natural or artificial process by which the CO2 is removed from the atmosphere and held in solid or liquid form. Question 6. Consider the following statements. In the tropical region, Zika virus disease is transmitted by same mosquito that transmits Dengue. Sexual transmission of Zika virus disease is possible. Which of the given statements is the correct? Pause the video. Try to answer. So basically, it was a factual question. So your correct answer is 1 and 2 both. Both are correct. Next question. According to the Wildlife Protection Act of uh, 1972, which of the following animals cannot be hunted by any person except under some provisions provided by law? Ghadiyal, Indian Wildlife or Wild Buffalo? Select the correct answer using the codes given below. Pause the video, try to answer. So your correct answer to this is D. It is a factual question. These all three species are mentioned in the Schedule 1 of the Wildlife Protection Act of 1972. Question 8. With reference to the Global Climate Change Alliance, which of the following statements is correct? It is an initiative of the European Union. It provides technical and financial support to target developing countries to integrate climate change into their development budgets. It is coordinated by World Resources Institute and World Business Council for Sustainable Development. Select the correct answer using the code given below. Pause the video. Try to answer. Now let's see the answer. So your correct answer to this is A which is 1 and 2 only. Why is it so? The GCCA was established by European Union in 2007 to strengthen the dialogue and cooperation with the developing countries, in particular least developed countries and small island developing countries. Statement 3 is incorrect since WRI and WBCSD work towards reducing carbon emissions through the greenhouse gas protocol. So by eliminating third, you get Question 9 with reference to the U role of the UN Habitat and the United Nations program working towards a better urban future. Which of the following statements is are correct? UN Habitat has been mandated by the United Nations General Assembly to promote socially and environmentally sustainable towns and cities to provide adequate shelter for all. Its partners are either governments or local urban authorities only. UN Habitat contributes to the overall objective of the United Nations system to reduce poverty and to promote access to safe drinking water and basic sanitation. Pause the video, try to answer. Now let's see the answer. So your correct answer is B. Second one is a very extreme statement only. Generally extreme statements are So you can eliminate the Explanation is second is wrong. The UN Habitat partners with not just governments and local urban authorities, but also NGOs, trade unions, academies, researchers, professionals, indigenous people, private sector, financial institutions and all. Question 10. Biological oxygen demand is a standard criteria for measuring oxygen level in the blood, computing oxygen level in the forest ecosystem, pollution as in aquatic ecosystem, accessing oxygen levels in high altitude regions. Pause the video, try to answer. So your correct answer to this is C, pollution assay and the aquatic ecosystem. Biological oxygen demand is the amount of dissolved oxygen required by the aerobic bacteria to break down organic materials present in the given water sample at certain temperature over a specific period of time. Higher pollution levels in the aquatic ecosystem, higher BOD levels. So where sanitation water milta hai streams mein. generally wahan BOD bahut zyada increase ho jati hai but wahan oxygen hoti nahi hai this is the reason ki jahan pe bhi drains vagera milte hai river mein wahan pe zyada aquatic life nahi milti hai question 11 consider the following statements climate and clean air coalition to reduce short lived climate pollutants is a unique initiative of the G20 group of the countries CCAC focuses on methane black carbon and hydrochlorofluorocarbons which of the given statements above is our correct? Pause the video, try to think about it. Now let's see the answer. So your correct answer is B, which is second only. Why is it so? The CCAC is a coalition of many governments with the aim of reducing short-lived climate pollutants with initial focus on the methane, black carbon and hydrofluorocarbons. The coalition has partner, 53 partner countries along with the United Nations Environment Programme. The countries which 
took the initiative were Bangladesh, Canada, Ghana, Mexico, Sweden and the United States. Question 12. If you want to see Ghadiyals in their natural best habitats, which of the following is the best place to visit? Bhitar Karnika, Chambal River, Pulikat and Diyopur Beel. Pause the video, try to answer. So it is also a factual question. Your correct answer is B. Chambal River mein zab se zada ghadiyal milte hain. Natural habitat hai unka. Question third, last question of today's session. The term am stripes is sometimes seen in the news in the context of no. captive breeding of wild fauna, maintenance of tiger reserves, indigenous satellite navigation system, security of national highways. Pause the video. Try to answer. Correct answer to this is B. M stripes stands for monitoring for tiger intensive protection and ecological status. It is a software enabled mobile app that will make the monitoring of the tiger reserves in the country an easier and quicker transparent process. Correct answer is B. We have more questions. Okay. In India, if a species of tortoise is declared protected under Schedule 1 of the Wildlife Protection Act of 1972, what does it imply? Does it enjoy the same level of protection as tiger does? It no longer exists in the wild. A few individuals are under captive protection and now it is impossible to prevent its extinction. It is endemic to a particular region of India. Pause the video, try to answer. Or uh, both B and C stated above are correct in this context. Now let's see the answer. So schedule one mein agar kisi bhi species ko rakha jata hai. So your answer is A. It enjoys the same level of protection as a tiger does. It provides maximum and absolute protection of the wild animals and offenses under this are severest. Question 15. Recently, there was a, a proposal to translocate some of the loins from their natural habitat in the Gujarat to which of the following sites? It is based on the current affairs of 2016-17. Kobet and Slipa, Kuno, Palampur, Madhumalai, Wild Life Century and Sariska National Park. Pause the video, try to answer. Now let's see the answer. So a correct answer to this is B. It was a factual question only. This was all about this bridge series. Thank you. Have a nice day and stay tuned with the Nellis